Hi there all, welcome back. I'm Massive Power Elite. Today I'm going to show you how to install and download um, the Guidance Steering mod of Tractors for Farming Simulator 2019. So first of all, we're going to install it. We're going to go to um, your web browser. So load up your Google. I've been farming sim farming simulator.com you come up to a page like this the main page go to the mod section scroll down until you see guidance steering GPS go into more information so this will tell you who's the author is and a little bit about the controls so what we're going to do is go to download so mine's downloaded already and you're going to show it in folder run and drop it to your desktop find out where your directory is for your mods that's normally documents mine games farming sim 19 mods and just drag and drop it in simple as that right then so what you want to do is load up farming sim then we're going to Korea Go to the map and you scroll down until you see GPS guidance steering. It should have a box like this. All you need to do is just tick it, start your map up, and you're almost there, ready to use it. There we go, the map's already loaded up. So press the start button. We we'll just go buy a tractor. So what we'll do is go to the medium section tractors and we're going to what tractor shall we use? Massey or John Deere. We'll go John Deere. Or we'll have Starfire. Well just is just just uh, basic configuration. We'll go to Michelin, we'll go to wheel weights and design we'll have beacons on here yeah, we'll have beacons so you scroll down until you find global positioning system you want to say yes just put a gps thing on your top it's going to cost you fifteen thousand pound to buy and it's well worth it so we'll buy a front weight because we're going to be using this on a plow We'll buy that one for now. That would be perfect. So just jump in the tractor. Also got something a little special in the window at the front. We've got an ad strip that's been made by Bobcat TV Agri. It's created one called Matty Power Lee Farms. I think it looks pretty smart, so a big shout out to you mate. I'll just drive down to the farm and I'll meet you there. Try not to crash into the old header like that.
Right then guys, I'm back at the farm now, so what I'll do is just open up the gate. Now I'm just uh, attached to a plough. Like so. Open up the gate. So you, sh you can see now you've got three new icons on the bottom right of your screen above the speedometer. One is your auto steer and the second one is your satellite or the GPS to switch on so what I'm going to do is just press Y to allow to create fields so what you do is then you you do Alt C to turn it on which will um, put a green light on the middle one on your satellite then you do left control s to go into the settings and then bring up a page like this and you want guidance steering enabled show lines uh snap terrain on because uh, the guidance steering will follow the contours of the ground so you want your offset reversal, you can have that on if you want, or you can have it switched off. Headlands mode, you want to have that stop. Uh, so this is the distance between the hedge and the implement. So whatever implement you got, you can calculate the working width of uh, the distance. So then you can just type the distance of the number in there and we'll come up with feet and it will stop there so this is your working width of the implement so, so how wide it is you can calculate all that there like doing the up and down arrows or working uh, width distance but I generally do auto width this is your offset uh, for the red line you can calculate you, you can invert it so it goes on the other side or you can have it on that side and you can calculate how much offset you would like so we're going to the second setting you can rename it and you can save it so we go plowing and you can save it well it will say fail to save track data but we do not have a setting so what you need to do is uh, switch it over to A editing and we'll set A and then you set direct cardinal uh, the, the, um, address or whatever that word says so direct card and all you just go set confirm yet and that's worked right so to activate your guidance steering what you do is have we got the show lines on should have the uh, show lines have we not got show lines Where's my lines? There they go. Right, you'll see your lines, uh, so you should have a, a yellow, two orange lines either side. Your offset is your red one. So, as you can see, it's on to the right. So, if you want it on to the left, you just go into this setting and go um, offset to the to the right you can just do that and it will go over to the other side once done so to turn the GPS on the auto steer what you do is you go alt X it will snap the wheels into the green line lower your implement and just press your cruise control simple as that and your plow is following the red line, the offset. You can 
turn the offset off if you want to. So your tractor should automatically stop at the end. At the end. You should go do 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 and it will stop automatically. There you go, that's a bloop bloop. And it stops. So what you do is to, to steer your vehicle, you do Alt X to deactivate the auto steer. Lift up your plow. Turn it over. Line the orange line up with the with where you've been ploughed. I'm just going to point my wheels that way, just to show you the wheel snapping into the to the lines. So you do old X, and the wheel just snapped into straight lines. Then you just press your cruise control button, and away you go. And you plat, you shouldn't miss anything really if you set it all up right with the offset. You can turn the offset off by doing Alt S. You can get rid of that like that. And your red line has disappeared. Then you do Alt X. And it'll just follow the green line. And it'll just plow away like normal. There you go, there's that noise, it's coming to the end. You can drive on a little bit more if you want. Just to make it a little bit more easier. Now we'll just turn it over. We'll do it once more just to show you. We'll put the plow on the other side now. You can also rotate your lines to, to the other way. And if you, And I'll show you how to do that. You do left control S, press rotate, and it'll do the up and down next all the way. Your tractor should follow the line if you do control X, and if you do in auto drive, and it follows it like so, and it'll come to the edge of the field and it will stop automatically. So to get your straight lines like that, again, you do left control S and we'll just rotate it the other way and there you go. So yeah, well you can mess around with the settings, it's pretty much easy to set up. So we'll save that as ploughing. You can have another one in for spraying, combining, anything you want basically. So there you go, hope that's all in helped you out a little bit. Uh, if you want to see more uh, video, a bit more in-depth video about it, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel to see more. Um, thanks for watching and you all take care and bye for now.